Guys, so welcome back. What we're doing today is what I call a stopgap. The word stopgap originally comes from bayonet fighting, but I've taken it and transitioned it over into hand-to-hand -hand combat. A stopgap in my system looks like is we're throwing a kick, a very low kick. Again, we don't kick high in our system, partially because I can't kick high and partially because I think it's stupid in general. We're going to throw a kick down here into the bottom of the kneecap. Ideally, it's going to be going right into the... I think so we, got any, we got any doctors and ask about meniscus. Is that down in here? I think it's somewhere around here. All right? I'm a learned individual. You guys can tell. So right down in here um, is we're going to throw the bottom blade of our foot, right? Right down the instep of our foot comes right in here. This is going to do a couple of different things. Is it going to break his knee? Absolutely not. We don't get knee breaks from the front. We get knee breaks from stepping to the side, and even then, it's like not guaranteed. What this is going to do, it's going to give us a little bit of distance, and it's going to take his mind off the fact that we're going to attack him up here. You guys have probably seen like Rocky or any of those boxing movies. Think low, go high. Yeah, I mean that's solid advice. So we come low, right? After this stop gap, we're just going to throw a one-two. So the stop gap, especially if he's advancing in on me, go ahead. Stop gap, right? When I throw that, I want to make sure that I'm balanced. As you can tell right there, I was like kind of off balance and it really kind of fucked me up. So when we stop gap, we want to make sure that our force and our power is going into that. So I'm stop gap. I'm going to probably land into him inside his punching range. This is important that it's quick and fast. Speed, surprise, violence of action. Speed, surprise, violence of action, right? So we're collapsing down into him. This does a number of things. Number one, we're outside of this bullshit boxing range. Now we're inside this trapping range. After I've come one, two, I can start grabbing onto hands, make sure he doesn't pull out weapons from his gear, from his knife, or uh, his pockets rather, or I can at least get into what's really important here, which is our close in, close range fighting tools. So stop gap, bah, bah, bah. We've worked our way inside. Now we can grab here, chin jab, knees, chokes, take him down with whatever, right? So we can get all of our close in fighting tools that close combat is really all about. Stop gap throw it here we step in are we going to be off stance are we going to be switching stances a little bit yeah for you sports guys who are really concerned about that sure all right it doesn't matter all right this is a fight things are going to happen stop gap come here boom bam if i want to i can use the parry parry damn the uh, angle off what were we doing before what's the name of that Kyle? yeah you step into the side pivot pivot, pivot. thank you pivot we can pop up, stop, get pivot, and then box him from there. But I recommend, once you're on the inside, stop, gap, pop, pop. All right, now we start controlling limbs. So drill the stop, gap, guys. Drill it on the bag. It's pretty easy. Literally just this. Um, we can also drill the stop, gap as a knee break, right? So I'm just going to have you turn this way. We can also, beat you bomb. We come up here, we pivot. Boom, right down into the knee, all right? And the side of the knee, if you catch them and their knee is locked out, that's why we bend our knees in a fighting stance. If their knee's locked out, you catch them with that stop gap right here, it's gonna fuck their knee up. So don't do that to your partners, but whatever. You're fighting a, uh... you know, like when they come over the border in warfare and the enemy invades the other enemy's border, like close combat is a good thing to know. So you come in here, bump, shit, advance on me, stop gap, one, two, all right? Then we can come in and do whatever else. Questions, throw them down in the comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Consider subscribing, I really appreciate it. Also remember, gunfightingsecrets.com is where you can find all of our t-shirts, hoodies, all the accoutrement, and then obviously our online training programs that are so um, wildly in demand right now are available there too. You are your first and last line of defense, mother flowers. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.